think they're supposed to get married. Everything is set. Dates, invitations, cake, dress, everything is set. And then you get this really huge contract that requires you to be out of the country on the day of your wedding. What will you do? Welcome to another episode of The Screening Room with Adeni Care. And of course, I'm the host, Adeni Care. So, from the little preview I gave you guys earlier on, you get the synopsis of what the movie I'm talking about today is all about. The movie is titled Bloodline. It's a Ghanaian movie featuring a Nigerian actress directed by Pascal Amafo. That's the movie I'm talking about today. Sit back. You know, by now you should know what to do here, yeah? but in case you are watching it for the very first time, <laughs> just sit back, relax, and again the show. I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. So like I said earlier on, the movie I'm talking about today is titled Bloodline. It's a Ghanaian movie produced by Venus Film Productions and directed by Pascal Amafo. The movie features Yvonne Nelson, Mary Remy, and Jose Tobin. Jose is an up and coming actor in Ghana. Those were the main actors in the movie. I'm rating this movie 2.5 over 5. The movie was about two sisters, Anastasia and Amber. Amber was this actress in Ghana, successful and all of that, making a lot of money. Very arrogant as well, full of herself. And then Anastasia is this everyday girl trying to make ends meet and all of that. So the dad preferred Anastasia, the mom preferred Amber, the actress, for reasons we eventually find out uh, later in the movie. Anastasia and Amber never really got along. They always had something to fight about. And I think that wasn't enough. We now get a guy in the picture named Cedric. Cedric decides to come into the picture and here is Anastasia thinking she has met the man she loves. She's going everywhere. She's you know, waiting for him to ask her how she's already loving up on him. And then we find out that Cedric had been dating Amber and he eventually asked Amber out to, you know, the, to Anastasia's shock and everything. Um, the movie just kind of took off from there, how their lives said, you know, going on a roller coaster after Cedric came into the picture. I'm going to stop right there. Like I said, I'm giving this movie a 2.5 over 5. Now, I'm rating this movie so low because of two things. Number one of which is the fact that this movie was dominated with bad actors and actresses. Now forget the fact that Mary Remy and Eva Nelson were in this movie, you know, who are really good actors in their own right. But then I always talk to you guys about the bad acting syndrome or bad actor syndrome, where you have a really good actor, not so good actor. If the good actor is not strong enough, the bad actor is going to pull down the good actor and then they'll end up just clashing on screen and you'll just be a total mess on screen. And this was what I think this movie uh, was dominated with, you know, let me start with Jose Tober. I think there's definitely room for Jose Tober to grow, but <laughs> he was not a good actor in this movie. He did not act well at all. He could not relate to his character. I did not find him believable once his facial expressions were the same all the time. It wasn't just him. All the extras they used, you know, the other supposed actors and actresses in the movie and the, a guy that acted as a manager, you know, the guy, the lady that acted as a personal assistant. All these people could not act. They just could not relate to the character. It was just a total mess. Number two was that this movie was boring. It was very dry. I mean, there were a few scenes here and there that would think, okay, that I will enjoy and actually be like, oh, okay, maybe something will happen but then for the most part it was just really boring and then the storyline was far-fetched it was stretched thin to the limit you, you know when you stretch from a band you stretch it you stretch it after a while it will get to the limit and you just snap snap you know and so that was what this movie was about it's just the story was they stretched it as far as possible and that's what happens when a one hour 30 minutes or a one hour 45 minutes movie now turns to a three hour movie because you decide to make it part one and part two you know so this movie i, do, I don't see why you should have straight into a part one and part two movie just cut out cut out all the unnecessary scenes that were in the movie that made it unnecessarily long and boring and just make it an hour 45 minutes and he might have maybe been better than he was you know but at the end of the day Putting everything together, picture quality, uh, cinematography, sound, uh, and all, all, what have you, you know, directing and all of that. I, I just couldn't 
get to a better conclusion and to give this movie a 2.5 over 5. So, that's what I'm waiting. If you don't believe me and you want to find out for yourself, you can check it out. It's on Iroko TV. That was where I watched it. Alright guys, so that's my review of the movie Bloodline, Ghanaian movie directed by Pascal Amanfo. Like I always tell you guys, let me know what you think. If, you, if you've seen the movie and you disagree with me, please let's, let's talk about it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for subscribing and for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you're loving the new flu. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Serious don't <laughs> Alright, alright, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Have a fantastic week. Mwah! God bless you. I love you guys.